how's it going everyone I've got another unit to go and get today I won two units online yesterday got great deals on both of them at least hopefully um, based off what I think one of them really I don't 100% know the one that I'm gonna go get today it's a 5 by 15 so it's really long and narrow and deep and the picture they had there was only one picture and it was sideways you couldn't see anything the only thing I could see there was two those little plastic three drill organizers and they were all taped nice and neat and then there was looked like furniture behind it that was wrapped but it was like one really close picture and couldn't tell much but it looked like it was packed neatly packed well um, and then the location that it's at it's a really good location where you tend to get good stuff so it's really a gamble but because you couldn't see nothing nobody wanted to bid so I got it for only $90 so it could turn out really really good could end up being bad but just the way that i can see it in the back no idea what it is or what kind of furniture or anything i could just see shrink wrap on some stuff and you know the way that those containers were taped i'm hoping it's going to turn out good and be maybe a professionally moved one maybe just somebody that's just super organized and took care of their stuff either way that's what we're hoping for but at 90 bucks unless it just turns out to be a really weird one where they wrap their stuff up and it's garbage um, shouldn't turn out all right never know might turn out great but we're gonna see here in a minute all right, just a little warning before you watch this video we are actually out here buying storage units and loading the stuff up and filming as we can as we go we don't have a film crew we don't have a bunch of lighting set up so we're in dark hallways we're in dark units we're moving we're lifting heavy stuff and we're trying to do it as quick as we can because we're buying a lot of units and our business is buying and selling units you know we make a little bit from the youtube videos at this point but we're not you know there's a lot of people that buy storage um units on youtube that that's the main way they make money is not from the stuff in the units is through their youtube videos so they take i've seen you know they take a lot longer going through the units and spread it out over sometimes i've seen weeks of them going through units we can't do that i've got a lot of overhead i've got a store we got to keep pumping through these units because that's how we make money so our videos are going to be rough uncut very little editing so if you don't like it then you know sorry but basically we're doing the job and we're taking you along with us so if you want to go along then just be ready it ain't going to be pretty all the time but we're going to do the best we can all right we're here at the unit we're in vinings georgia midgard storage won this thing on storageauctions.com and it was a pain in the butt because they never sent the information back to the facility so we had to get on the phone with storageauctions.com and it took about 30 minutes longer than it should but that's just the kind of stuff that we just got locked out i gotta go get the, the code all right had to go get a code they didn't give me because these doors is kind of windy and they're blowing closed i couldn't get back in the door so let's see so now we're going maybe they're getting rocks oh that's <laughs> in front of the door i was like what are you doing and so leah found us a rock to put in front of the door so we're gonna be luckily the good thing is if it's on this floor, grab that cart right there. They got a nice big cart for us. This is basically, you, there was one picture and the picture was sideways and couldn't really see much. All I could tell was there was these organizers that were taped up and I could see the edge of this, some kind of wrapped up piece of furniture. And I could see, but I could see that there was something wrapped here and something wrapped here. But even still, even when you're here, you can't really see much of anything. It's basically like one big long walk-in closet because it's five foot wide and then it's gonna go all the way back to here. So it's a long skinny unit so there's no telling what's in there but hopefully i mean obviously all this looks like it's just going to be clothing in these 
but these you know clothing's good it looks like it's clean and stuff but these things always sell and we'll see what kind of furniture we're gonna pull out of here and who knows what is gonna be buried the legs coming off of this oh god this and this door is broken but um that just has to, i don't know why they took that off but it just goes back on there it has they have the bolts on there for some reason okay it probably wouldn't go into the door i bet so i had to take this one leg off to fit it in but it looks like maybe a sectional or something and i don't know i see spots on it that might not be good though it's like a light blue but it looks like there's spots and stains but let's see if we can start pulling some of this out of here and see what we're gonna have this door is gonna be crazy oh, holy stuff. okay Oh, okay, now I can see how to look. It's going way, oh my gosh. It's like, I see a chair up there. It's probably like 15 feet high back there. It's a lounge, but it's nasty. It's got spots and stains all over it. So that's not good. I mean, I'll probably literally put it in the auction and get a dollar to five dollars for it. Somebody that wants to clean it or refinish it, but. So hopefully that's not a sign of, but I mean, upholstered stuff can be really dirty. Some kind of card up there. There's tons of stuff in there. We'll see, but hopefully this other couch right here, it looks like it's nasty too. So the upholstered stuff is nasty. Hopefully the wood stuff here is not all beat up, but the two, this lounge and the sofa there, we can already see are nasty. Just pulled this dirty couch out. Got this little chair. It's decent. Um, the chair, it looks like the chairs that go with that table that we pulled out, they started to paint them and they didn't really paint them all. I don't know if they were just, they thought that made it look, you know, rustic by just not painting it all. But, um, so far, not a whole lot of good in this unit. And that's the best item we've gotten so far, this little metal rolling cart. We got a coat rack. The challenge is getting this stuff out without it falling and hitting you in the head. Like this metal bed frame up here. Because it all gets tangled up and stuck on each other. It's missing the middle parts. I don't know, somebody might like it like this, but it's just as a decoration. This will make it definitely do something with it. <laughs> we have a headboard it's the same color as the couch and stuff it looks pretty pretty decent got a mantle here no insert Definitely needs some cleaning, but um, I don't really see it broken anywhere or anything. So a lot of um, project pieces in here, stuff that they were <laughs> like they were working on, but stuff that I mean, a lot of people are gonna want to clean up a little bit. So so far, pretty much a, pretty much a dud. I mean, the top of that thing's disgusting. It doesn't look bad on the front. The top is just so, it's not just like dirty wipe off, it's just like yellowed and stained so that top would need to be repainted. But like I said, not a bad project piece, but this kind of stuff we'll throw in the auction and it usually does pretty decent, but not near as good as getting, you know, if this thing was nice and we could get, you know, a hundred bucks or so for it if it was in good condition. So instead you're looking at five to, Somewhere between $5 and maybe $30, $40. Somewhere in that range as a <clears throat> project piece. Um, yeah. um, I'll probably just get this on the hand truck. There's some smaller pieces there. And there's a chair still away. But. You can see that chair. I don't know if you can tell how high that is, but that's this ceiling in here is probably about 15 feet high. And they got that chair all the way up there. So let me see if I can reach it by standing on this, or I might have to climb up on something. I think I might be able to reach it. 
See, the problem is you have to get the stuff on the top. You can't get the stuff down low until you get this stuff off. Because it's stuck, so. This matches the chair that already came off. It was in decent condition, and that one looks like it might be all right. I, it's kind of dark in here, so I can't tell for sure. And here's the only um, boxes it looks like, maybe. These boxes are curious to see what might be in here, if I can reach this thing. And it's heavy, of course. How did in the world you get this box way up here? Would it be heavy? Ah. Yeah, it's kind of heavy. I don't, it feels like it's probably books or something. So I'm take it out there in the light. And grab another one. That's what it felt like. It's books. Oh. So it was. It is books. Chinese Natural Cures. Then Oprah. Oprah book, yeah, that one will go in the auction. Um, it's like a yearbook. And some just junk novels and stuff down in there. Let's see what's in here. Hello, that matches the dingy couch. Little frame here. Oh, it's like um, vases or something. It's a vase wrapped up. There's another vase. Let's... Dog toys. Oh, it, oh of dogs. it's full of dog toys on it. That's why the, the furniture is so nasty. <clears throat> Yeah, dogs just Stop. on the furniture. Nice looking vase. There's another vase. Okay, it's this. No, it's not the same. So. It's that modern kind of art glass made in Italy. But then a whole big basket full of dog toys. So, and that's pretty much what all is in that box. But that's why the furniture. Let's see, here's a dog toy. doggone donut. A, a <laughs> coffee mug for the dogs to chew on. Oh, that frame. He's good. Yeah. Oh, there is some boxes behind these. This first layer. And actually, there's more boxes behind them, so there is a few boxes back here. This is... Is that a lamp? It's got a... Okay, it's got a middle shoe. It's a candle hoard. It looks like a lamp. And then down here, yes, you can. Leah won't sit for her booth. She's going to take that. So the only decent thing we found on this. <laughs> Dave Chappelle. Looks like some clothes. Yeah, there's a bunch of clothes down in the bottom. Oh, they got the Golden Girls. Complete sixth season. And they're all there. Oh, yeah. And Golden Girls uh, third season. There's a few Golden Girls sets there. And then we got the Lucy show. Collectible plate. Yep. Is it Lucy? Yep, I love Lucy. Oh, we got an I Love Lucy collectible plate. So they like Lucy. So we got the plate. And the DVDs. Don't think 
they're all gonna be here. I don't know how many would be in this set, seven episodes. Or if it wasn't set, they might have just bought them individually. And we do have some more boxes up. Uh oh, we might, oh, there's some kind of big cabinet back here. Maybe an antique piece. And more chairs stacked at the ceiling. unit is 15 feet deep so it's, it goes back we have a layer of boxes here and then I think there's another layer of boxes behind that one very long unit I'm going up and they put I mean all the way way up here in the top they've got these really heavy boxes This feels like it's probably more books. They put all the books on the very top up near the ceiling. <laughs> this, that was not much. And yes, it is more, more books. Diary of a Mad Housewife. But mostly just like little paperback novels and stuff. Makeup brush cleaner. I believe it's new. It's a sand cleaner. Nice. Um, looks to be in almost new condition. There's a couple of dog hairs on it. Beach mat. Not dog hair free. Um, home sweet home, but that's kind of kind of nasty. Oh, look at this. We used to, we had one of these before. These were worth a, quite a bit of money. It's a Harman Kardon speaker. I think these are like $300. Yeah, and that's so the plug for it. We actually had one of these at the store for years. We literally, I think what happened is because, well, we had it in our warehouse originally. It would get so hot and cold that it started to like eventually come apart. The speaker was all coming apart, so it was just vibrating really bad. But as long, if this thing works here, this is probably, it's at least $100, 100 to $150. Yeah, we're good. I was just checking because somebody else just closed out. I'm like, let me just go check to see. Yeah, we still got a little ways to go. Thanks. Up oh, in a mirror for Leah in her booth. She keeps booth shopping here, taking all my my stuff. But that's all right. It helps out the store though, and I, and I get it. The store gets a percentage of it so <laughs> but Leah gets it all nice and displayed and gets gets good money for it so so that box turned out good if that's if that speaker works which it didn't look like there should be anything wrong with it so even though a lot of the furniture is not too great should still turn around because there's so much stuff packed in here even with the oh, the bad there's enough good to outweigh it 
this is the way this one was turned. I mean, the box is upside down, but hopefully this is the way it's supposed to be open. But I don't know. And actually... She's got some nice decor pieces in here. Here's a little battery-powered candles. There's two of them there. It's just some of the stuff is gotten so dirty. Anthropology candle. What's this? An antenna. Here is a lamp, a part of the lamp. Is there stuff down in here? We got an Apple laptop. Of course, it's dirty, but that ain't a big deal. That can be wiped off. Let's see what it looks like on the inside here. I mean, it looks pretty clean. It looks good. I don't see any obvious cracks. All the keys are there. We got a Lana Del Rey record. Is it in there? Yeah, it's in there. That's good. So it's taking a turn for the better now. Well, let's move this stuff. There's stuff down down in there. Okay. I think there might be a record player. That's what I'm it looks that's like. a record player. What is this? Oh, those are legs to some kind of furniture. We got a pump. We can move all this junk. There's an Apple TV part. Oh, there's oh yeah, there's some cool stuff down in here. Oh, look at this globe. There's a globe. I think this is a record player. Yep. Nice and clean. So we got a nice little record player here. Um, looks like a lantern. There you go. You're probably gonna want that for your booth too. You got something hooked to it. You got a little mug warmer. There's that. There's a little decorative globe. Um, There's Leah's pile going over there of the decor. Oh, she found her something else. A little amber colored jar. But we got um, Veer. Some Veer sunglasses. I don't know. And hot, there's a glue gun. Nice glass kind of base thing here. Oh. Here we go. We got a iPad. It's cracked. Where's that hair? It's a crack. It's a crack or a scratch? Okay, yeah, there, yeah, there is a crack across it. But some of them will get a crack and they'll still doesn't really affect the screen. And then some of them get cracked and it completely destroys the screen. Something right. <clears throat> oh, they got a um, Lucy mug. Lucy and Ethel. These are falling out. Um, that was prob that was probably in the record right there. I guess they were maybe in with this or something. God, ugh, something down here stinks like dog. But uh, but all right, that box right there is good. We got a uh, an iMac. We get an iPad, we get the Apple TV thing. I don't see any plugs. Maybe the plugs are down in there. We'll have to kind of dig down in. Or is this an Apple? Is this an Apple plug? Maybe this is. I think. Yeah, this is an Apple plug right here. This is probably for the laptop. I believe. The record player. So this box, oh, and then all the, and Leah got her some nice decor there. So this box right here is definitely really good. The nice little globe. So now we got one, two, we got three more boxes there and then some more in the corner to see what we might find. All right, we got a few more boxes off. We've got a McCollister's Moving and Storage box in here. And this one says desk on the top and there's a little desk right here. Nice little 
kid's desk. Just these will wipe off, but not bad. Um, yeah, we got legs for another piece of furniture. Is that? It's a HP. There's an iPad mini box. I don't think it's in there. Here's an iPhone box, but I don't think there's nothing in there. Here's an i pencil. It's not in there, but we'll have to keep an eye on it. It could be in here. So an Apple Watch band box. Here's the Apple Watch box. The watch is not. So lots of Apple products and boxes. There's another iPhone box. So here's some, um, there's another Apple watch box. Good Lord. Too bad all these aren't in there. But we got some um, Apple plugs and stuff here. This is the watch right here. It's all, <laughs> I don't think I just, did, I dropped it, but I don't think I just did that. It's all shattered to pieces. That's the watch face there. Some clock. <laughs> Some wooden push pins. Odds and ends. There's some knobs. Oh, here's some um, some new little acrylic paint. Several things of paint down here. That'll sell. An Amazon battery charger. And here's a here's a plug. An Apple plug. No. It's an Apple in, but this right here, that right here, there's not. That's not Apple. I don't think. Okay. Set that over on top of it. Some bath salts or something. A lamp. It's kind of, I guess, bathroom stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. Not much going on in there. Mm -hmm. Look at the next box. Okay, I want this upside down. All right, this. I think it might be. That's the original That's Walmart tape. Well, so is this. I don't think whatever this is has ever been opened. Okay, it says it's an Emerald Air Fryer. But I don't think this has ever been opened from Walmart, so that might be what it is. <clears throat> yep, it's a brand new. Emerald Power Air Fryer 360 Plus. That's probably worth a few bucks. So the boxes are definitely saving the unit. Furniture is kind of rough, a lot of project pieces. Stuff that's still sellable, but the um, small stuff's definitely making up for the big stuff. Yeah, this has a little weight to it, like it might be books. If you've already seen several <clears throat> boxes like this and books. what it is. <clears throat> and we got a little TV, I think, a little small Sansui TV. We have a Wii. 
me. And we got some CDs. We got Lifehouse, Nickelback, Fleetwood Mac, Fleetwood Mac, some homemade CDs. What is this? It's a, there's something in, oh, there's another one of those Lucy CDs. Is this a laptop or a, okay, it's a DVD player. All right. Oh, it's a game of some sort. Looks like a looks like a game you would have at school. All right, we got a china cabinet. It actually looks pretty good. Hopefully, though, this tape they put on doesn't pull the pull the paint off of it. Don't ever put packaging tape on furniture. Get some of that blue painter's tape. But um, it needs shelves. But I'm pretty sure that's what we got out of the unit when we very first started. There were some shelves wrapped up in some um in a moving blanket but i'm just worried when we go to pull this off that it's going to try to take this paint off but we'll see well, other than that it looks pretty good and then back here there's a big old cabinet i guess let's see i wonder if it's like a tv cabinet or all right we're all finished with this unit the super long 5x15 this was definitely a um, gamble unit because you just didn't have no clue what was in there. And like I said, one bad picture. And I'd probably rank it not bad, not average, though, probably below average, um, just over bad because we'll make a few dollars. Well, most of the project was either um, furniture was either trash or project stuff. Um, was a few good things in the boxes, but they had dogs. So some of the stuff's kind of nasty, you know, with the dog smell and dog hair. But... but we found the speaker, nice Harman Kardon speaker. We had the um, Emerald air fryer, brand new. That thing was brand new. Some other, you know, some nice decor and stuff like that. So it'll make a few bucks. Was it worth my time? If I would have known exactly what was in there, no, I probably wouldn't have bid, even though it was only $90 because I would have tried to bid on something else that might have had more bang for the buck. But not a loser, just, you know, like I said, below average. But that's it for this one. If you like this video, then give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button.